Buenos Tardes Sisua Beach. Um, I don't know exactly what day it is. I think it's, I think it's Friday, December 17th, but I don't know exactly what day it is. And uh, good afternoon, it's, it's the Donzel Action Jackson. I hope that you had a wonderful Friday. Yeah, Friday, it's definitely Friday. It's afternoon, I had a late start today. Um, not really a late start, because I was on the beach this morning, walking the beach, which is uh, my morning ritual. But just, I honestly didn't record a video earlier today because my head was fucking with me today. Like, I just woke up in, in the worst, most piss-ass mood. Um, I didn't even... I didn't even do all the burpees for uh, this morning's burpee session. I was in such a bad mood. Just my head's been running train on me all day, giving me the worst scenarios possible. Just, like, all day my head's been like... Yo, Action, you need to go smoke some weed. Yo, Action, you need to go get a fucking drink. Sub T. Yo, Action, you gotta... You gotta uh, fucking smoke some herb all fucking day. You need to get some pussy action. All day. My head has just been running a motherfucking train on me, yo. And, uh... Yeah, so I just had to work through that shit. And I guess that's what, uh... What I'm gonna talk to you about is how I worked through it. Like, you know, first thing I did was I just got out and I just started walking. I had to walk it off, walk as much as possible, you know, try and clear my head that way. That didn't work 100%. What's going on, my man? You good? Wait, wait, is that uh. That didn't work 100%. It, it worked a little bit, but it still didn't, it, it didn't work all the way. So, what I do after that? I went to the gym. Went to the gym, was like, let me see if I can't get through this with physical exercise. And I'll tell you what. The gym was a lot. Not even going out front. Going to the gym definitely, definitely helped some. But still, you know, the shit's, uh, you know, it's just one of those days, man. It's just one of those days. And uh, you're gonna have days like that. Everyone has days like that. Um, I try to make a moment. I try to make it so they don't last that long. But um, sometimes just gotta fight through it with Brazilians and whatnot. So what I do when I'm having a bad day is I just walk a lot. I try and think good thoughts. I try and brainwash myself into thinking good thoughts even though my mind is seriously running tricks on me. Um, and, I try, and I try my best not to give in to temptation. Like, you know, so far, I haven't drank any alcohol, I haven't uh, smoked any weed, I haven't fucked any girls, I haven't drank any coffee, I haven't eaten crazy outside of my macros. Um, I haven't smoked any marijuana, so. You know, I'm happy about that because all day that's what I've wanted to do since the second I woke up. Believe me, that's all I've wanted to do since I woke up. So I'm happy that, you know, my mental resilience is that good. And I hope that uh, if y'all, when y'all are going through your tough days, I hope your mental resilience is good too. Because that's all we really got is our mental resilience. And, uh, she used the mental resilience and push through until the day gets better. You know? That's about all there that's about all there really is to it. Right now I'm uh walking beautiful Sisua Beach boardwalk. I tell you what man, it is a fucking show out here. It's been raining today. It's been raining the last few motherfucking days to be honest. But it is still a show. People out here having a good time, enjoying life. And sometimes that's just what I need to be around 
to get me out of my fucking funk. I need to be around other people laughing, talking, having a good time. You know what I'm saying? And that instinctively makes me feel better about shit. So, there's a couple of tricks of the trade for me that I use when I'm going through a fucking shitty mental day or, you know, pain in the ass day. I like to call them moments because the day is really not bad. Nothing really happened bad today. Nothing physically happened bad today. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't get no bad news. No one died. No one got locked up in jail. You know what I'm saying? So it's like everything that's going on is just my mind fucking with me. And uh, I'm happy I can admit that and work through it instead of just uh, projecting it out amongst onto other people and being a dickhead. And uh, so, yeah, man. Just gonna walk through. Yeah, check out this place. 39 New York. It's, it's the chick, Christian. Oh, yeah, the good one. Say hi, Christian. Hey, what's up? What's up? So, Chilling. Um, yo. But yeah, dude. So just fighting your way through the funk, find your way through them bad mental moments so they don't become bad mental days or so you don't slip up and do something fucked up or fucked it or fuck it is the way to go. And I'll be honest with you, I mean it's 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 only like four in the afternoon. I still got a full day to go out and enjoy. And, you know, yeah, the first couple hours of the day, I was in a pissy mood. I was, I was just mentally going through it. But I actually feel a fuck of a lot better now. And I, and I feel better because of mental resilience, doing some physical exercise. I'm probably going to bust out some more burpees when I get home to my lovely dog, Spike. I'm going to bust out a few more burpees just so I can really make sure that... Uh, just so I can really make sure that my mental is 100% straight and better and in a better mood. Because that them last burpees is going to do it. That and some chicken. That and some chicken. But anyways, y'all, I hope you had a wonderful Friday. Um, depending on what time you see this, I hope you have a wonderful Friday. I wonder the uh, rest of a wonderful Friday. Shout out to all my uh, bartenders, club owners, street workers that are gonna be working this weekend, trying to make that Christmas money. Uh, shout out to all the patrons that are gonna be going out and supporting them at all, at all the restaurants, the bars, the brothels, the streets, you know, you know what it is. But one thing I would like to definitely say is this, especially to my people back in uh, Fairfax, Virginia, uh, Northern Virginia area, Manassas, Gainesville, uh, Maryland, you know, Rockville, all that shit, Washington, D.C. to a smaller degree. Don't fucking drink and drive, okay? Don't drink and drive. As a matter of fact, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm all about having a good ass time, so I'm not gonna say don't drink, but maybe be uh, careful on how much you drink. But definitely don't drink and drive. Don't put yourself in a position to end your life in someone else's life or end up in jail. Um, it's not worth it. You can call Uber any fucking time and they'll pick you up. There's also other free rides. No, oh, no thank you. I don't want to ride the bike. The bike guy's always trying to get me to ride the bike. I hate riding the fucking bikes. So I swear that's how I lost my cell phone was riding the fucking bike. But anyways... But, if I was out in Sisua and I was drinking, um, and I had a car or a bike of my own, I'd get on someone else's bike and ride home instead of riding around drunk. Because, riding around, you know, I'm not gonna say I ain't never done it, but like fucking, there's a lot of things I've done that you probably shouldn't do. What I'm gonna say is, you can't bring nobody back after you fucking kill them. If you kill them in a car accident and you still killed them. You might kill yourself. Your family ain't gonna have you back. You know what I'm saying? You might get a DUI, lose your job. 
you lose the way that you can take care of your life because you was out drinking and you decide to drive. And so fucking avoidable. It's so avoidable. Saves motherfucking lives. So, look, just don't drink and drive. That's all I'm saying, man. That's all I'm saying. Enjoy the fuck out of yourself tonight. Get ready for Christmas. Sell them presents. Yo, buy art, by the way. Find your local artist and buy some art. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna show you these guys' art gallery down here. This shit is sick. My man Santana and La Pax art, they're beasts. Oh, look at these cuties over here. What's up, baby? Oh, oh, for my own No video. Okay, my bad. Okay. Yo. Right, bitch. We definitely doing videos out this motherfucker. Fuck you, Lord. Um, but yo, the pack. Fucking sick of it. Just look at this shit. My man. Good to see you. I'm sorry. I'm doing like a little video. I just wanted to show off your art. <laughs> Yo, you know it's the, always the fucking ugly girl that has something to say. Oh my god, this chihuahua has pink nails. Say hi. I'll never do that to my chihuahua because my chihuahua's a boy. You have pink nails too. Fucking dope. Pink nail chihuahuas out this motherfucker. But anyways, enjoy yourselves this weekend. Don't drink and drive. Buy art from people. There's another dope artist just in here painting. I'm telling you, a lot of good art. A lot of, a lot of talented people out here in Susua Beach, Dominican Republic. There's another dope art studio right here. It's like Artist Row out here. But, uh, you know, definitely, definitely enjoy yourselves this weekend. Be safe. Um, I will see you back here tomorrow with the 30-day challenge update. So we can see how your boy is holding up to his 30-day challenge. Y'all already know what the challenge is. If you don't, go back to an older episode. Share the show on the... Share the show, please. Peace. Hey. Why is this the best sign ever? Welcome to Flip Flops, another tight ass bar, Susua Beach. Alright guys, peace.